Russia playing overseas. She has not done that for the, fa for the past few seasons, but she's known all over the world. And yet states will see China uh, and they will play. They'll also see Senegal and Latvia here is in that pool. The tip won by the U.S. women's basketball team going left to right from our vantage point, right to left on your screen and right away. There is the best pull-up jump shooter in the history of the WNBA, knocking one down, Simone Augusta. Sue. Sue getting used to that bolt in the uh, FIBA basketball. That's right. Sue kicks it to Diana Taurasi, the big three on the way. Well, they did a phenomenal job of putting on the WNBA All-Star game last summer. First bucket of the game for China by Team Shaw. That's the team captain. China, here comes Sue the other way. She feeds Tarasi on the left wing. Goes right in, draws contact, floats it up and in. DT. The ball. <laughs> she's so strong. I mean, she goes right into the body. Here comes China the other way. Pump fake on the far side by Meng Li. Three ball for the trailer. Meng Gran Soon, the 25-year-old center. There's nobody in the world athletically that can keep up with this team. Three ball on the right. Knocked stiff by the 17-year-old point guard, Yuen Li. Shu Han has it. Six on the shot clock. And a nice little move there. And the finish inside by Shu Han. Months and months to get ready for international competition, but for the United States, they will come together a couple of days. Beautiful move by Meng Li there, just leaving Jewel Lloyd in her wake. And They've got to get used to playing with one another, and you saw some miscommunication. It's not just on offense with throwing the ball out of bounds. It's also defensively knowing when to switch and when to stay, and are you icing, or are you, what are you trying to do? We can just knock it down consistently. Rossi gives it off to Stewart. Drives in, tries to finish with the left, and she gets it up and in. She might have switched it off to the right just at the last second there. Dewey coming down with the rebound. Flips one to Bird. Bird bounce pass to Rossi. You cannot do it any better than that. My goodness. Two brilliant passes. One from Stewart. Look at Sue just in between the two defenders. And of course with Diana Tarazi, you know. That wasn't going down off the hand, but a bounce pass stolen again. And more back and forth action here. Elise with no basket. Tarazi flings it up. And that <laughs> one goes down. She's like. About time. We need a timeout here. My goodness, 132 left to go. She's asserted herself quite nicely tonight. Mitchell with it. Feeds inside to Williams. A brilliant pass from the old Ohio State Buckeye. Off the mark. Here's an underhanded pass. A nice one-two. Lay it up and in. A year to her second year. Really got so much better. Most improved player. She looks even more svelte now than even she did last year. Here's Mitchell, the long three for the lefty, knocking it down from about 25 feet straight away. I'd say a good solid six, 7,000 here in Seattle to watch the Americans dominate. They started on a 17-4 run. The game was actually tied at one point, 25 to 25. And then Team USA closed out the first half with a 17-0 run, and they never looked back from that point forward, and they win it tonight by a final score, 4 to 30. USA! Individual scoring, fouls with 16, Tarasi and Stewart with 14 apiece. At 14 or more, Elizabeth Williams did go 5 of 6 off the bench.